Hello, at this tutorial we're going to talk more about the constant keyword and how to use it to pass parameters safely to a function. Now there are three types of constant parameter to a function. We have constant value, constant pointer, and finally both constant value and a pointer. And I'm going to demonstrate all these three cases. Now let's begin with the third case, constant value and a pointer. And constant pointer. Let's take an example. Let's say that I have some Wi-Fi names, character arrays that I'm working with. I'm gonna pass them to different functions to do different things. So let me begin by defining a simple character array. I'm going to call it Wi-Fi Home. And let's put that as an array of 64 bytes or 64 characters. And I'm going to initialize it to like Sweet Home. Let's say that's the name of my um, home Wi-Fi. Um, let's assume. And then I'm going to define another character array for my office Wi-Fi. And I can set that to 64 characters as well. And I'm going to set the character array name to the zone, for instance. Okay, now let me begin by demonstrating how to pass those to a function where both the value is constant and the pointer is also constant. Okay, so for that, let me create a little pointer here that points to either one of these Wi-Fi names, and that's simply going to be a character pointer. And I can call it active Wi-Fi. And that's gonna to point to either the home Wi-Fi or my office Wi-Fi name. So let's begin, let's have it point to the home Wi-Fi to start with. So the Wi-Fi array name is a pointer to the first element and we want to set this to the active Wi-Fi pointer. Now let's begin with the action. So first I'd like to demonstrate passing a constant value and constant pointer parameter to a function. And for that I'm simply gonna call this function print Wi-Fi name. This function is going to take the Wi-Fi active pointer and is going to print the active Wi-Fi name only. And it shouldn't be able to modify the Wi-Fi name nor the pointer that points to the, to the Wi-Fi array. So for that, I need to pass, normally you would just do character pointer and that's the pointer to the Wi-Fi. That's how you would normally do that. But to introduce the constant keyword, now the value is constant. I don't want to allow this function to modify the character array and the name of the Wi-Fi. And I also don't want it to be able to uh, play around with my pointer, like doing PYFI++ to shift the pointer location. I don't want it to do that locally within this function. So here comes the constant keyword and how useful it is. You can put another constant in front of the pointer. This way, this means we have a constant value and a constant pointer as well. Now simply I can just write my code as to print the Wi-Fi name. So that's simply going to be Wi-Fi name. And I'm gonna set this to the Wi-Fi pointer. Okay, and I can call this from my main to print the Wi-Fi name. And I just need to pass in the active Wi-Fi pointer, which currently points to the Wi-Fi home. And when I run it, I expect to uh, see Sweet Home printed out in the terminal. So let's build this. We have unused variable, but that's fine. This is a, a safe warning. Let's run it. Exactly. So we can see Sweet Home, but I didn't put the new line character. So they, they merged to the hello world. Let's try that again. Okay, very good. So Wi-Fi name is printed. Now let's try, what if we try to modify the value and the content 
of the Wi-Fi array and also the pointer. This function shouldn't allow us to do that. Compiler should complain because we set the value to be constant and also the pointer to be constant. So let's try that regardless. So if I, I know this points to my array. So if I try to modify the first element of the array and set it to like a numeric character, and let's try to build. Now compiler is going to complain because this is a read only variable because I set a constant to the value. If I remove this, it will allow me to do that. Here we go. And also if I uh, run the executable, now S is, is replaced with, uh, with the numeric one. So that's the one. And also if I try to forward the pointer, so plus plus, so instead of this pointing to the first element of the array, now it's going to point to the second element of the array. If I try to do that, compiler is not going to like it because I put a constant here because this is a read-only parameter pointer. If I remove the constant keyword, now it's fine to change it. And if I run the code, I get wheat home only. So that's the meaning of constant value and constant pointer. And I guess the other ones are very apparent, but I'm gonna demonstrate them regardless. So now let's take the second case where we have a constant pointer only. Okay, for that, I can simply try a function called update Wi-Fi name, and this is going to modify the value, but not the pointer itself. So this function is gonna take a parameter. Normally you would just write it like this, character and then the Wi-Fi array pointer okay but because the pointer is constant after the asterisk sign i'm going to put constant because now my pointer is constant but the value is okay i'm allowed to modify the value uh, of the array okay and so i'm going to attempt to add kind of 4g to the end of that um, so i'm going to use sprintf function modify Wi-Fi home to be Wi-Fi like sweet home 4G. I can do that very easily. So I can first pass the whole Wi-Fi name as it is. And I'd like to modify it. I want to add a dash 4G. And that's it. Now I should be able to, um, to run this. Uh, let me just uh, double check that I haven't missed anything. So, uh, yeah, so I'm passing the pointer and that needs to be the pointer itself pointing to the Wi-Fi array. Um, and now I'm adding, appending some text into that array. Now, let me try to call it in the main. And I need to pass the pointer. And I'm also going to print the Wi-Fi name again, just to see if it's modified. Let's try to build. Okay, let's see what's the problem. Okay, we forgot that from the early demonstration. I'm going to get rid of this. Okay, so we seem to have... This is unused variable, so that's fine. Let's have a look at our executable file. Now, I expect that this function now updates the Wi-Fi name successfully and... Um, change the value of the, of the Wi-Fi home array to include 4G. Okay, exactly. So now sweet home is sweet home dash 4G. And now finally, I want to demonstrate the case where we have a constant value only. So the pointer is okay. We're allowed to change the pointer, but we're not allowed to change the value. Okay, so that's the constant value case. For that, let's say that I want to get to the next Wi-Fi. I want to change the pointer. Instead of pointing to the Wi-Fi home, I want it now to point to the Wi-Fi office. And I can do that by, let's call this function change Wi-Fi. And I want to pass this, normally you would pass it as a pointer, double pointer, because now we're changing the pointer 
pointing location so it has to be a double pointer and now the value is constant i don't want this function to be allowed to modify the actual array content i just want to modify where the pointer is pointing to so for that we need to set the value as constant so before the type before character if we put constant here now the value is constant but the pointer is okay to be modified okay so for that i can simply write in um, so i can change the double pointer so now this is asterisk sign which means i want to change the value of the original pointer and i want it now to point to the office wi-fi and that's simply it that should be sufficient now when i call this function into my main and pass that pointer to my pointer to be like a double pointer and again print the wi-fi name now the wi-fi name should be changed to um, to the office wi-fi okay let's try to run this exactly so now the wi-fi name is changed to the zone and i think we got a little warning but that's fine in c programming i think it's complaining complaining about the type because the function expects a parameter of type constant but the actual pointer is not constant but that's fine this is very common in c programming you need to explicitly typecast the pointer type or if you want to go advanced you can uh, you can suppress this type of warning but safest way is just to typecast this to the pointer expected by the function okay now the the, the warning is gone um, and that's pretty much all the three usage of uh, three uses of um, the constant keyword into for passing parameters to a function um, safely and those are summarized as constant value constant pointer and then both constant value and constant pointer and that's all for this uh, video hope you enjoyed it thank you